What's up guys? Today we have the Unilite IL375R. I believe eight months ago I did a video on the smaller 175R. So I'll see if I can link down the video below for that one. This is the larger cousin to the 175R. We'll get onto that one in a minute, but this one has a beautiful presentation here, like an iPhone, and I have everything falling out here. <laughs> but check that out, nice velvety little case here. Bam, that is cool. So yeah, what fell out here is instructions, a cool sticker, lights built tough, and a USB-C earth-friendly earth -friendly packaging here, cable. So that's cool right there. <laughs> And uh, yeah, let's get on into this bad boy right here. So it is a identical unit to the 175R. Nothing different except for it's bigger. So we have more power. Looks like a bigger battery in here to uh, get you more lumens here. The last three digits of most of their products is the highest lumen on, on their light. So if there's multiple lights on there, this will be their highest lumen. So that's very common on all their lights. Uh, yeah, Unilite from the UK, and they just recently launched their USA site. I'll link all that down below. So they have, they're they're in North America, the Unilite NA site. So you can get the Unilites a lot easier now rather than all the way from the UK. So that is cool right there. Let's get in on what type of light this is. This one ended up being more like an EDC light for me using it, uh, more of a pocket light. And uh, just handy, just, uh, I just can't use it as a, like a regular automotive light because it's, it's only two, well not even 250, this is 150 right here. And yeah, it just wasn't bright enough. It's, this style of light is more of a mechanic light because you get to stick it on like that and shine down. This one is a lot brighter at 250 right here, so. This one's gonna be a lot more friendlier as a shine down light. So mechanics light, these type of lights, we've seen the switch blade type of lights around for quite some time now. And yeah, just aim it down to your work area when you're working on a car. This one at 250 is definitely more reasonable at, as this one, which is what, 150, yeah. Um, and, and also the tip light too, uh, this one's only at 70, which is, it's cool for like little, quick little like, Looky lose here and there, inspection and stuff uh, is fine. But yeah, this one seems to be a little bit better. I still gotta get more use out of this one. It is better as a 100, as you can see. 100 definitely shines a lot better than this 70. So yeah, keep that in mind. You can barely see it here. We'll get out to the car and I'll do some comparisons on them. But yeah, yeah, the, the 100 definitely is a lot better. And also with these, they don't articulate all the way. It's not a full blown, switch blade this stops right here that's it so you only get this mid light aiming down that's it you don't get the full blowners right here not you don't get the 375 and the 175 aiming down like you want it to so another thing to keep in mind with these um ip54 rating this is just a dutch shield for the um usb c cable you got an indicator light that flashes when you're dying so you gotta keep an eye on that. That's another thing, I don't believe this one flashes on you when it dies. This one will do the run times on this one. This is three hours on the max, 375. And then there's a lower setting on the big one at uh, 130, 18, or a six, six hour run time on that one. So you have six hours on the low setting, but it's not the one that's gonna be aiming down. So that's gonna be the 250 lumen that's aiming down, that's a three hour run time. So you're back down to three hours for the one aiming down, so ha not even half of your day with the one aiming down. So keep that in mind with this one. It is still pretty slim, so that's one cool thing about it. The top torch, yeah, we talked about top torch being 100, and yeah, USB-C charging, and uh, pretty much, yeah, nylon uh, housing on these, but this is aluminum right here, which is nice, acts like a heat sink, same with the other one. Um, 
ultra lightweight, compact. Yes, these are slim. So we have a small battery on this one, super small battery on that one. Battery life's okay on that one. I have yet to see how good this one is. I gotta run it to, through a couple cycles. And uh, yeah, um, more drawbacks. I like to give the drawbacks here too. Um, I wish I had more neon color on here because these do get dirty. I think I clean, yeah, clean this one off. And once they get dirty, they, they turn all black. Um, engine bay, if you keep it, keep your engine bay organized, you'll find these a lot easier. But underneath the seats and the dash and stuff, if you start piling up tools, uh, these can get shoved underneath the seat and you won't see them. And all you have is these two neon uh, colors right here. And hopefully you see it before you the customer drives off and gets a free light. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's the only drawbacks I see so far with these. Yeah, I just wish they had a little bit more neon colors, but they kind of look a little bit more tactical this way, I guess. And uh, yeah, I got to cater to everybody. Nice, cool little clips here. Yeah, both exactly the same with the magnets. So they got the magnet that sticks that way. They got the magnet that holds the tip together. And then the magnet here on the end that acts like the one that aims down on your work area. So I believe I covered everything so far here on the basics. Let's go see how they perform in an engine bay. All right, so here we are with the tip torch light. This one's the smaller one here with the 70. And this is the 100. So it's a little bit brighter, which is nice. And uh, also what is nice is that there's memory. So if you keep it on longer than three seconds, it holds the memory. So it'll go back to whatever light you were using last, which is one of my pet peeves, which, yeah, I really like the memory because I just hate cycling through everything, going through a whole cycle just to find the light that you want. So yeah, it goes back to the tip torch. So next light we have the low and the low here. So I think this is 130 and there is the next setting here 130 and then 175 so this is full blown max right there and this is the 375 right here full blown max so that is plenty of light and then the two magnets on the side here you just go like that and there's max right there and then the next light down, we have the workhorse light, which is only three hours on that one, 250 lumens. And the workhorse on this one is just not much at what, 150. Again, that's it for that one. And then yeah, 250 for this one. So yeah, definitely a lot better on that. And there's your magnet on both of them. Very nice. And uh, yeah, pretty cool light. Definitely, if you want more light, get the 375. I like that one a lot better so far. All right, back inside. Let me save you a little bit of time rather than going back to my old video. I found the box here for this one. Uh, the, the low beam on this one is actually 75 lumens. And you get a six hour run time on the low on this one. It's still the same thing as the other one, three hour run time for the full blown max, 175, full blown max, 375, three hours only. Um, the rear flood is three hours again, and yeah, the tip torch is, so three hours, three hours. And uh, pricing, pricing will be 58 bucks on this one, and just a little bit more, 75 bucks, might as well go for this one. And I believe it might be a Father's Day sale, so don't get me wrong. So as of this video, yeah, 58 bucks and 75. I'd rather go for that one. And um, yeah, pretty cool. So instead of going back, I'll still link the video down below if you want to check it out. I have more lights coming in and uh, they, they're still sending me stuff. So yeah, these are all sent by Unilight. I'll try to give my own opinion on it, just like uh, this one right here, which I do not like. I'll give my opinion on this one. Actually, I don't think I'm going to do a video on this one. This FL4R, I do not like it. It's only got a two-hour runtime with no memory. So every time you click this thing on, 
you have to cycle through the whole thing or click it twice to get down this one to get any life out of it. So it jumps down to five and a half hours if you're in the mid, but I've been turning it on every time to 450 and just, I've been charging it like three times already. Comes with a cool little, uh, it comes with the cable here. It's USB-C, no, no, it's not even USB-C. It's, yeah, it's um, micro, so yeah. Yeah, this one I do not recommend. It's more like a 450 lumen keychain light. That's that's what I, how I feel with it. It's all dark. It just has these two neon pieces on it. And uh, yeah, I do not like this light. Uh, I don't know about the FL11R is the bigger one. So this is the FL4R. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about the, the bigger one. They're not really focused on these ta tactical lights anyway. So, um, yeah, I would stay away from this style of light for now until they maybe upgrade them in the future. So I'll let you know on that, how I feel. Yeah, just definitely, yeah, don't feel for anything on this. I went back to my anchor on that one. So the anchor boulder is what I went back to using again. So yeah, eh, more like a glorified keychain light there for me. So I won't be doing a video on that one. I got two other ones I'll be doing videos on. Keep an eye out for those. And yeah, Unilight, still pretty good stuff. Just gotta know what they got. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and on to the next.